So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the... And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Enforcer. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Spinning back fist. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Oh, he's got a big knee to the body. We'll see if he can follow up. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Fighter lands a kick now, and a pretty good one at that. Frantic pace early on to this one. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. My favorite shot in the game, another leg kick. Unable to connect there. Touches him with that left punch. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Lands that beautiful jab. Body kick lands. 
Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? You I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Back and forth we go. Nice job by him defensively there. Just over two minutes to go. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Lands a jab. is he rocked him bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job and now his opponent's back in the fight i mean you don't get those opportunities very often you got to full advantage of them when they're presented to you check look at that redness underneath his elbow a lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time i like this i like this approach Looking to land the leg kick now. Under a minute now to go in the round. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Just touching him with the jab. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Good job defensively to block that punch. Kick. These guys are going at it. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Clean punch. 20 seconds left. Straight punch land. the bell so now back to the stool he has only 60 seconds to recover we'll see if physically he can keep himself in this fight all right so he gets knocked down but not out let's look back at some of the highlights dc a huge round on the other side he had him hurt very bad he found the shot he got exactly what he wanted when he saw the opening he jumped on it and he hurt his opponent very bad if he can get back to that one more time he may end the night. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, round two. Great job landing that body kick. Oh, he blocks the strike. Oh, and counters with a jab. So a nice sequence for him there. He's got the reach advantage. And at least in that exchange, size certainly appeared to matter. Well, you see the numbers there, bottom of your screen, outlining just how effective he has been with the jab here tonight. He established it early. That was a big thing for his camp coming in, and they certainly have done their homework. Let's see where he goes from here. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. Oh, nice kick. Oh, 
Hunter, he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. High kick landed for him there. Nice one. Right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the field. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Back to the jab now. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Straight right hand, no good. Just over two minutes to go. Really good job by the fighter to land that kick. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice body shot. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. you got to address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not going to let you off the hook. You've got to move. You've got to change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. Oh, that'll do it! Wow! Wow! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Don! There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming 
congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.